in this video we are going to see how to apply mesh analysis technique whenever a current source is present between two meshes and circuit consists of combination of dependent and independent sources <music> So here is the problem where you have to get a mesh currents I1, I2, I3. The speciality of the problem is that we are having a current source which is a dependent source but it is common between these two meshes. So let's solve. So here we are having the three meshes I1, I2, I3 are the mesh currents and as per that we will have the voltage drop in this manner. Plus they have given the V1 also. So V1 is nothing but a voltage across 2 ohm of this polarity. So let's encircle it because it's given by them. And uh, with a green ink, I have marked all the voltages across the register because of the current I1. Similarly, I2 will have the voltages in this manner. Same is the case for I3. So we have marked all the voltages over here. Let's apply cable to mesh 1. Let's start from the voltage source minus plus. So plus 110 plus minus minus 14 I1 plus minus minus 4 I1 plus minus minus 2 I1 minus plus plus 2 I2 equal to 0. So after simplifying we will get minus 20 I1 plus 2 I2 equal to minus 110 as equation number 1. Let's go to mesh 2. The problem with mesh 2 is that there is a current source between two meshes where we cannot apply cable directly. So what we will do, we will take this current source first outside the circuit. So the current source is this, like this. And it's a dependent current source, and this V1 voltage depends the current source. Since it is a voltage controlled current source with a value 0.5 V1. Now, this current source is nothing but this branch, and this branch carrying two loop currents I3 in this direction. So, I will mark I3 like this, and I2 is this direction. And the given conduction is right to left, which is matching with the I3. So what I can do, I can write the equation of current. So if I write the equation of current source, it will be I3 minus I2 equal to 0.5 v1 so this introduce a new variable v1 which requires substitution so we have to write a substitution equation also so where v1 is lying so v1 is nothing but a voltage across 2 so I can say this V1 is nothing but 2 is the resistor multiplied by the current. How to decide the current? The polarity given by them with this red ink matching with this polarity and this polarity is because of the I1. Hence I can say I1 is a dominating current. 
So V1 will become 2 multiplied by I1 minus I2. This is our substitution equation. Now let's substitute over here to get new equation as I3 minus I2 equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by V1 is 2 times I1 minus I2. So this simply become 1. So I3 minus I2 equal to I1 minus I2. We can cancel this minus I2 from both the sides. So ultimately the equation that we will get is I1 minus I3 equal to 0 as equation number 2. To solve a problem we need 3 equations. Right now we got 2 and third equation we will get by applying a mesh analysis to the super mesh which is formed because of mesh 2 and 3. So let's apply KVL to super mesh and that is forming by taking a combination of mesh 2 and mesh 3. So let's start. So over here I will start with the mesh 3 plus minus. So it's minus 10 I3. Okay, over here I need to bypass this current source. So we'll have a next element is this 6 ohm plus minus minus 6 and the current is I2. Then plus minus minus 2 I2 minus plus plus 2i1 equal to 0. So after simplifying we will get a third equation as 2i1 minus 8i2 minus 10i3 equal to 0 as the third equation so three equations, three unknowns. We can solve these three equations to get I1, I2, I3 as I1 will get as 5 ampere. I2 as minus 5 ampere. And I3 once again same as the I1 which is nothing but 5 ampere. So here we have solved a problem where a current source is present between two meshes by applying the concept of super mesh analysis. Thank you.